up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. You ready? You ready? All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. And there's a nice kick. Pretty good kicks there by Torres. Front kick to the body by Diaz. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Diaz's leg is hurt here, Joe. You can see him starting to limp a little bit. Very nice kicks. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Torres. Going to the body there with the right kick. Looking for the left hook. Trademark inside leg kick there by Torres. Nice. And mixing it up beautifully. Diaz gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Exactly. Diaz gets up. That's the good news. Bad news is Joe, he looks hurt. That's it, that's it, the fight's over. That's it, that's it. He kept attacking with those leg kicks over and over again, like we talked about several times throughout the fight. We knew it was eventually gonna be a real problem, and this is the last one that he absorbed for the knockout. Yeah, you're right, Joe. It was that one big strike that started it all, led to the knockdown, and ultimately opened up an opportunity for him to force the referee stoppage in this fight. He was flurrying. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters.